What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm gonna show you how to install this AutoVox M6 DVR system. This is one of the better models that are out. It records the front and the back of your vehicle at the same time. It also has a backup camera system where you put the car in reverse and it triggers the backup camera on the screen so you can see what's behind you as you back up. The dash cam is right behind the rear view mirror and the other camera for the back mounts to your license plate holder and just strap it over your existing rear view mirror just like this just goes right over like that and do the same for the other side now once you mount the system to the rear view mirror then you want to run the power cable which is the mini USB cable and the backup camera cable Power and then plug in the AV cable. That's the backup camera cable. And then I want to tuck it under here. All right, so next you want to go ahead and hide the wires behind the molding. And this is tedious but fairly easy. There we go. That's good. These just right here. They pop off really easily. You just pull them out. Same thing goes for the bottom right here. It just pops out really easy to remove. And these plastic pieces, make sure um, when they fasten back to the car frame, make sure you don't put the wires in the way of where the um, clips pop into the car frame. And then you can hide it behind the weather strip and you want to push it behind those clips so it doesn't get in the way of it like putting back on the molding now I shoved the power cable under here and you're gonna use zip ties to mount it under your glove box and so now the backup camera will run under this panel right here and you want to put it underneath the clips so they don't get in the way of snapping this back together all right for the power I'm gonna just tuck it under here very easy and it plugs right here in my center console There we go, and this LED lets you know that it's powered on. And when I turn off my car, hit power, and it turns off the unit. Now, if you don't have a cigarette lighter port, or your cigarette lighter port is not working in your car, or your cigarette lighter port always stays on even when the car is turned off and you don't want to drain your battery, you're going to have to buy this accessory sold separately. This is a, a power cable that plugs into your fuse box, and this is already assembled right here this one so you have your positive red um, red wire and it goes to your fuse box just like that and there's a 5 amp fuse already installed and it plugs into your accessory port in your fuse box under your, your dashboard it could be in the passenger side or driver side but it's going to be under your dashboard and uh, after you plug it into your fuse box power port and then you want to plug it into a rear view mirror last. So you want to take your positive wire on the power cable and then you want to go ahead and strip a little bit off. Okay, we're going to go ahead and crimp it down. Okay, that feels pretty secure. And then this is the ground wire. Here's the 5 amp fuse and it comes with the 5 amp fuse holder just like that and you just plug it into your fuse box make sure it plugs into the accessory 5 12 volt line it's i believe it's over here the fuse box and it's all labeled on the cover and but the problem is is once you plug this in you're not going to be able to put the cover back on so keep that in mind now according to the chart on the fuse box cover you should know which port to plug it in. 
go ahead and plug in that red positive wire into that port. You may have to remove the fuse to do so. And then connect the black negative wire to a ground source. Usually there's a ground screw that you could connect it to. Otherwise, it won't turn on without that ground source. Next, you, know, you run, the, run the cable to the back of the trunk. That's for the backup camera, of course. I ran the cable through a hole in the back frame of the car. Most cars have holes through um, the framing because there's wires. You just follow the wiring to the back of the, of the car, basically, and just tuck it under all the molding right here and uh, tucked under here. We're going to connect the backup camera to this reverse light. That will trigger the backup camera to turn on so you can see behind you while you're backing up on the LCD screen. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and mount it to my license plate holder. And push this all the way down. And this one actually has a backup camera, but this one doesn't record. This one uh, records and it has infrared lights too, so I can see it better at night behind me. And you can adjust it up and down as well. And you want to drill right through the plastic. Go ahead and run that cable right through the hole. Right, so make sure you put a drip loop right here at the end so the water and the moisture doesn't drip into the camera. So now I have my drip loop on so if the water or the moisture built up on the wire it'll drip off the wire and not straight into the camera. If you just use this pry tool and just pop off the plastic rivets just like that and they come right off. If you have these, these are a little bit harder to remove. You're going to need a screwdriver and it pulls out. Here it is. Like that, and then you want to zip tie it to the wire harness right here. Remove this bulb, just twist it and pull it out. It should be shining. Yep, and it is. So th these are definitely the reverse lights. And sure enough, we are getting almost 12 volts. So that is pretty good. Now if I turn off the car, then it should uh, turn off. Or if I put it back in park, it should go to zero volts. So I'm gonna use these splicers and it acts as a bridge, this right here bites into the wiring, this metal plate, and it bridges the connection. Put the black wire to the black wire. Makes sense, right? right next, we're going to press down on the metal plate so it bites into both wires, bridging the connection. Now I'm going to connect the camera to the rear view mirror cable and you want to line up the two arrows so there's an arrow here and there's an arrow right here line up the arrows and slide it in all right so i'm going to put my foot on the brake put it in reverse all right this backup camera triggers and this backup camera triggers put it in park and it goes back to dual screen or if you want to choose um, dash cam or backup camera only, or dual screen I like, I prefer. And you should twist on, there we go, it's locked in. So I'm just gonna double check my work. I got the water sealant so the moisture doesn't get it inside my car. I'm gonna adjust it facing a little bit downward. Uh, and I got the drip loop right here so the moisture doesn't roll off the wire and go straight into the camera. All right, so let's see if the back is recording as well. Hit playback, normal, and here's my front camera recordings and my back camera recordings. And this is me doing the install right here. Should turn on everything. I'm gonna put the car in reverse. 
and there it is. So that is a pretty good height. You want to aim it downward so in case a kid throws a ball across the street or you know they're chasing after a ball, you can see that kid chasing after the ball. You don't want to aim that camera, backup camera too high because there's no reason to see the sky. Alright, so let's put it back in park and you got the dual camera mode. So everything's working great. So if this video was informative and it helped you out, give me a big thumbs up. If you know anyone interested in getting a dash cam or backup camera for their car, or even you want to monitor your kids driving, this is a great product for that. Go ahead and check out the links in the video description below for the product. And if you know anyone that's interested in this, go ahead and click on the share button below, or share this video to them, help someone out. And if you want to subscribe for more how-to videos like this, click on the subscribe button right here or down below. And if you want to check out my other installation videos, check out this playlist right here. Thanks guys for watching.